Welcome to Banker's Life Fieldhouse in Indiana, where the scene has shifted. First round playoff series between the Raptors and the Pacers. Game three tonight here in Indianapolis. And Sherm, the Raptors have had success in this building. They've had more road wins than any other season in franchise history this year. And in this building, five wins since 2012-13 more than San Antonio, the Clippers, and Brooklyn that have had three each. So maybe a place where the Raptors are set up for success. Yeah, and the Raptors over the last few seasons have gotten better and better on the road, and that speaks to the maturity, the growth and development of this team, and understanding how to be a team when you're on the road in hostile environments. And I think one of the things you look at is a guy like DeMar DeRozan, who struggled so far in this series, but on the road, his numbers go yes. up significantly. So you expect him to have a very good game in game three, but this team understands. It's that bunker mentality. It's about getting down in the trenches, and it's you against the world. And I think the Playoffs magnifies that point even more. So they're going to have their work cut out for them. But the good thing is they've been tested this season and they understand who they are when they're on the road. Well, Sherm, the issue of pressure now shifts. And both teams wear this hat a little bit. If you're the Raptors, 1 1, you got to get home court back, quote unquote, so to speak, by winning a game here in Indiana. And you almost have to win this one because there have been only nine 3 1 comebacks in the history of the NBA playoffs. But if you're the Pacers, you need to hold home court advantage and can't go down 2 1 because you run the risk of going down 3 1 at home should you lose tonight. Yeah, I think home court advantage puts the pressure on the home team. You've got to defend home court and Indiana is going to feel some pre pressure. I think in game one they went to the Air Canada Center and Indiana was confident. Yes. They were free flowing. If they get a game they're good with it and I thought they played that way. Now it's time for the Raptors to have that mentality. Go out there play as hard as you can. Understand that it's going to be difficult to get a W but you're right. You don't want to give this game up leading into game four where Indiana is more confident at home again. So this is a crucial game for both sides and you're right, yes. pressure's on both sides, but the Raptors need to get that home court back, and they've got to do it as quickly as possible. Interesting, Sherm. They always say the team that lost the last game is the more desperate team, but if you look at Toronto, they're just as desperate. And remember, you can see the game on TSN at 730 and hear it on the radio side with Sherman and me, TSN 1050.